Jake, we'll uh, catch up with you because March the 4th, we're out for the fight. Double figures, mate. Yeah, ten. number 10 for me. Yeah. yeah. Um, and you just kind of told me, you, you shocked me, mate, because you've got a genuine 50 50 fight, a, a fight with another prospect. Yeah. Um, which I hope was going to happen this year, not just with you, but on our last show. Just in general. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I thought maybe next year, you know, last year, sorry, um, because of lockdown and, you know, the situation we're in, I thought it was going to happen then, but it didn't quite materialise. But this year, there's not just you on the show, but there's another kid on the show where it's prospect be prospect. And in fact, on all the shows that we've got lined up over the next few weeks, they're all, there's yeah. at least three or four. I think that's what people want. That's what people buying tickets want to come and watch. They want to come and watch a genuine 50-50 fight against two lads with winning records or two lads coming to win. Well, that's the thing. You get something that you don't get with, you know, as well as the learning lessons you get when you fight these, road bodies or junior whatever mm -hmm. you want to call them and um, once you fought three or four of them yeah you, you, you you're not going to get what you get when you fight a prospect no he's a guy who wants to win as much as you yeah those guys have come to do a job and some do it very very well some do it not so well um but you don't know what what headspace they're in when they come down so no, sometimes it. it can be brilliant against someone else and then perhaps not on the ball on the night that he fights you or, or whatever but a prospect is trained eight nine ten weeks as you have for this one pacific fight yeah. so you know what you're going to get you hope you're going to get the best version of him and that's what i want mate that's what i want i want good fights i, um, I want to progress with my career i want to push on and win titles and the only way that i'm going to do that is, is taking the fights like like this one well, uh, let's talk about it then, because I know the kid fairly well. In fact, I interviewed him just before he made his debut. I think it was against Seamus Devlin uh, about 18 months ago. Um, uh, Leon Will 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 Willings. Willings, yeah. Yeah, uh, very good kid. Very yeah. good kid. Uh, I think he's From what I've seen of him, mate, he, look, he, look, he looks very good. Uh, a bit similar to you. He's got nice feet, got a bit of yeah. power. Um, in fact, he had a. Uh, his stoppage came on one of our shows at uh, No Rail. Yeah, Trail. I've um, I have seen that fight. Here. Yeah, yeah, look very, yeah, very yeah. strong, very good. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm excited for it, mate. It's something to get me up, you know. I'm, I'm get up for. I'm I'm really happy that I'm I'm getting a, a fight like this. It's, well, you you, you, you got the ring rust, uh, not the ring rust. You got back to winning ways. Yeah. Uh, last time out, and a very good performance against uh, Edgar Sneezes. Yeah. Um, where it's 60 54, uh, six good rounds in the bank, never got caught, no. never got and that's what we wanted. We wanted those rounds in the bank, yeah. Um, wanted to just go on and try a few things we've been working on in the gym, managed to pull most of them off, and yeah, but it seems that, that movement of yours, in fact, I alluded to it just before that fight because you chose not to when you fought uh, Mickey Ellison. I wouldn't say uh, I chose, but yeah, I know what you said, <laughs> but you chose to have a fight, yeah, and it was a great fight, yeah, it was a great fight. But um, perhaps didn't use your assets to the best of their ability. No, I don't think I did, um, and I think I've made I realised the importance of using them. Um, truthfully, the best thing that so far has ever happened to me, boxing career-wise, is losing to Mickey Ellison. It's mm -hmm. made me really work on what I need to work on, and, and hungrier than ever, and uh, assess and rebuild. And here we go. We go for another. Oh, well, how did you find out today? Because you, 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 you all spied and kind of Dexter McCarthy was going to come down, and yeah. uh, uh, Nathan Corliss was coming down to spy with Mike. Okay, you were going to spy with Dexter, but Dexter uh, had a little bit of a, a niggling injury, nothing major, uh, so he couldn't spy. So you ended up having to move round. You did the first three rounds with uh, Nathan. Yeah, well, I thought he, I was going to get some with Mike as well, which is, you know, the pair of them are, are, are big lads, so it's always tough sparring with them. But uh, yeah, just got some rounds in with Nathan then. Not good to be honest, mate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like you say, uh, again, that, that movement of yours really came, came into play there because you can't really stand and no, no. those guys. You know, you've, got to, you've got to use your head, haven't you? Yeah. Because they're too big to to, uh, to play around with. But this this fight with Liam Williams, uh, Williams is, is an absolutely fantastic fight. We're not sure exactly um, the rounds, whether it's going to be an eight rounder or whether it's going to be a ten rounder, whether it's going to be top of the bill or chief support, we don't yeah, know. I'm not sure. And all I know is that we look like we're, we're, the fight looks like it's getting made. Um, so yeah, like I said, mate, I'm excited for it. Something to to give the people who come and support me another good fight, which I'm I'm happy about. Um, 
he's, he's up, like I said, he's well, the fight for show, mate. It's yeah. really good. He's really good. Like I mentioned before, you've obviously it's you and uh, Leon, which I didn't know about. Literally, I only found out about today when I came here. Um, but I believe we've got a good fight for Brandon Newell, the very talented flyweight. Uh, we've got Matthew Rennie uh, against a Greek kid who's fought on our show a couple of times. Yeah, fought uh, on both, yeah, both one I fought on yeah, last, yeah. Both, both uh, undefeated. Uh, sorry, um, uh, yeah, yeah, both undefeated. I think uh, Matthew Rennie's 8-1 and, one and uh, the Greek kid's 3-0-1. and one. Uh, three oh and, one and Matthew Rennie's 8-0-1. Oh so right, so they've got draws. But yeah, yeah, they're undefeated, yeah. Uh, so, cool. uh, um, yeah, yeah, and, and we've got the, the uh, on March the 8th when your stable mate is out in Mike McKay. We've got a, a great, we've got the final of the, uh, the Super Welterweight Tournament. Yeah. Uh, we've got Joe Howard uh, fighting a, a kid who's 4-0 uh, and unbeaten. So, uh, you know, the prospect They're prospect. coming together then, aren't they, these prospect fights? It's good, it is, it's good to see. And then the benefit for you for this is, like I say, you win this. And surely, surely you, you've got to be knocking back at the door for a, a little title shot again. Looks like I think so, yeah. You did mention um, an English eliminator maybe, so let's see what comes from it. In fact, that's another fight that was going to be on the show, it was going to be top of the bill on March of but I think it's been moved um, later on the year onto the TV slot. Uh, Nathan Bennett against um, uh, Jamie Moorcroft. Oh, great fight, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it is, it is good, Brilliant. mate. Uh, listen, I, I'm really looking forward to this, and right, I mean, I'm looking, I'm looking forward to it before. I'm looking forward to it even, even more. more. Now you've just told me this, mate. So. Me too, mate. To be honest, it's. Um, and I can like be slightly biased. I don't think Leon will mind because obviously he knows I'm TV <coughs> But I do like Leon. He's a good kid. I think it'll be a great fight. Um, so I, no, I'm just going to say, made the best man win, eh? Yeah, like you did last time. <laughs> Sitting on that. I just say, I've got spinners <laughs> on my ass, mate. That's what I've got. This is Jay, you take care, I'll see you on the fourth one. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Take care. For all boxing, info, news and latest interviews, amateur and pro, across and off, click and subscribe. VIP, boxing promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.